Project Learning Tree. The closer you look. Join Molly of Denali and friends as we take a closer look at trees and their parts. First, think of a tree that you can later go visit. Picture that tree. Close your eyes and think about its shape. Is it bent or curved or straight? Think about the trunk. Is the bark thick or thin? What color? Is it a large or small trunk? Think about the branches. Where are they on the trunk? Anything in the branches? Are they close together or spread out? In your nature journal, draw your tree from your memory. Next, we'll head outside to take a closer look. On cold days, it's fun to go out for a short period of time with a mission of investigating trees. Use the prompts, I notice, it reminds me of, and I wonder, to make observations, connections, and inquiry. So this, I noticed some moss. And you notice some moss growing on the tree. It's a little So the moss is a plant that's growing on the tree. Cool. So you notice the moss, holes. What do you notice, Molly? Oh, the bark. How thick the bark is. Oh, really thick bark. Yeah, look at this trunk of the tree. It's hard to write in the cold, so allow students to explore a tree in pairs or small groups so the teacher can write down notes as students share what they observe. Here, Molly and her friends investigate the tree with hand lenses. Enjoy your time outside and your investigation. When we go back in, there will be plenty of time for note taking. Using the student page, Seeing the Tree, prompt students to make observations about the various structures they observe. Great. So when we were taking a closer look, one of the things we were going to look at were the seeds. And Molly noticed that the cones are at the top of the tree. And how many? Just a couple or a bunch? A bunch. A bunch. As you prompt students to look closely at the leaves, the bark, and the tree's branches, and other structures, ask questions about what these parts do for the tree. What is the function of the leaves and needles? How do they help the tree survive? Head back inside and take time to fill out the student page using our notes from our investigation. Continue to discuss the functions of the parts of the tree as students fill out each section. Next, draw your tree again. Using the observations you recorded in your student page, add as much detail to your drawing as you can. Compare and contrast your two different tree drawings. What do you notice? Compare your drawings to other people's drawings. What patterns do you notice? What parts are similar? What structures are different? While learning about the disciplinary core ideas of structure and function, in this activity, students will practice analyzing and interpreting data. All Project Learning Tree activities from the Explore Your Environment K-8 Activity Guide are NGSS correlated. NGSS correlations and student pages can be found on Project Learning Tree's website. Have fun exploring your environment! Let's <laughs> go.
red or snowshoe, she is ready to explore. From Catoba down to Juno, always wanting to learn more.